Okay, so how does this thing heal me for you? Um, it seems to be fine now. Brenda Keggy has a history of skin cancer. So when she recently spotted something that looked suspicious, she wanted to see her dermatologist. It would have taken more than a month to get an appointment. So she emailed him. And he emailed back and asked me if I could send a photograph of the item and attach it to the email system through Kaiser.org. So I did that, and he was able to respond back to me with what the um, next step was. It turned out that Keggy's skin lesion was cancerous, so her dermatologist had her come into the office so he could remove it. But after a few days, Keggy was worried that it wasn't healing properly. So I sent him a photograph of the spot. He looked at it. I had explained to him in the email what I was experiencing, and he told me it was quite normal. It looked like it was healing just perfectly, and if I had any concerns after another week or two to let him know. Teledermatology was introduced about 20 years ago. It was originally designed as a way to provide dermatology screenings for people who lived in rural areas, far away from specialists. Today it's used in both urban and rural settings. Kaiser has the nation's most robust program. Primary care doctors initiate the vast majority of Kaiser's teledermatology services. When doctors find a questionable skin problem, they have one of their staff take pictures of it. The photos are sent directly to a dermatologist. Primary care doctor Martin Bartolak says it's a very useful tool. Even though it takes maybe a little more time for us to do it, we get almost immediate feedback to our patients with a question. Our patients love it. They think it's a, it's a great service, and we don't disagree. We think it is a great service for our physicians because we learn quite a lot every time this happens as well. About 800 Kaiser patients in San Diego use this service each month. Kaiser dermatologists screen the photos as part of their daily routine. The photos are attached to a patient's medical record. Upon reviewing this picture, Dr. Jeffrey Bonabio diagnoses a skin lesion as cancerous. So this is the sort of thing where I would actually write back to the primary care physician and say, actually that unfortunately is a melanoma skin cancer. And what we need to do is to have that patient to come in to see us right away so that way we can actually do a surgery to remove it. In other cases, Dr. Bonabio may spot something that looks serious but it's just a common rash. He says teledermatology allows him to spend the majority of his time on patients who need to be seen in person. Those patients who didn't actually need to come in, who are quite satisfied with just getting their problem fixed, that saves me a visit, so then I'm allowed and able to do these other things. We're really, well, I, you know, I'm much more valuable. It's much more important than I do that. But not all dermatologists are convinced that teledermatology is ready for prime time. UC San Diego's Dr. Casey Carlos says primary care doctors don't always take a picture of the worst lesion on patients. And so they did a study at the VA where basically they took a, a photo of what that primary care physician was worried about and less than half of the time was that actually the most worrisome thing on the patient's body. So once they were actually sent in and evaluated by dermatologists, they found melanomas or squamous cell carcinomas and other places that may not have been identified as that worrisome lesion that they took the picture of. What's more, Dr. Carlos says taking pictures of isolated lesions or moles just can't compare to an in-person, full-body exam. A good dermatologist should be looking through your hair, looking in your genitalia area, looking in private areas, looking between your toes, in areas that I think it would be really hard to get a good image with either a camera or even a video camera at this point. Studies comparing teledermatology with in-person visits come down on both sides of the fence. Some show teledermatology is just as accurate as face-to-face -face appointments, while other research finds just the opposite. Dr. Bonabio maintains teledermatology is an effective way to screen and diagnose patients. And he says at Kaiser, they take steps to make sure they get it right. For example, Bonabio says for most health problems, only one doctor sees a patient. But in telederm, here in San Diego, when you send a photo, actually every photo for which we don't actually see the patient, a second dermatologist reviews it because it's so quick. So it's a quality assurance that's built in. And so that's fantastic because they're actually, in some ways, higher quality than you would be if you were doing it in person. As more Americans get health care through the Affordable Care Act, the demand for dermatologists will likely go up. Teledermatology is one way to broaden access. At the very least, it could save patients a lot of wait time. Kenny Goldberg, KPBS News.